Hi, my name is Scott, and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. I'm a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology. I'm also a type 1 diabetic. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet and you're interested in uh, diabetes-related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with new content all of the time. So what we're going to be talking about today is the Tandem Mobi, which was previously known as the Tandem T-Sport, which is a new, incredibly small pump that's going to be coming out from Tandem sometime in the near future. So Tandem had an R&D event back in December of last year, a few months ago, and they talked about the Tandem Mobi, which is in their immediate pipeline sometime this year, hopefully early next year. Um, they released some details, and we've learned some new things about it since then. So I kind of wanted to go over that today and just break down all of the new details about this exciting new pump from Tandem. We can take a look at the breakdown of the new features that they discussed at the event, but essentially what they said, this is going to be the world's smallest durable pump. It's going to support control IQ um, using the algorithm as a bigger cousin, the T-Slim X2. No screen on it. It's going to be controlled 100% remotely from a smartphone. So let's talk about all the little details about this. Let's start with the size. So per Tandem's CSO, Elizabeth Gasser, this is going to be, quote unquote, the world's smallest durable pump. This was also echoed by Garrett Martin, their senior director, who said the same thing. World's smallest durable pump. And taking a look at this, some of the pictures, it does look pretty small. What they've said is also that it is half the size of the Tandem, the T-Slim X2. And we can take a look at that here, uh, about 50% of the size of the X2. So it's definitely a small device. Um, we can take a look at a few other pictures here. Um, and of course, that comes at the sacrifice of losing the screen and some of the other features we have with pumps. But it's certainly something that would be welcome to a lot of people who want a little bit more portability with their insulin pump. Now, it is really small, so how much insulin is it actually going to hold? Well, if we look at the um, information sheet they gave us previously, they're stating 200 units. So this is in line with the Omnipod, which also holds 200, but it's not going to be as much as, say, a full-fledged pump would be, like, say, the Medtronic or the X2, which hold 300 units. So for those of you who need a lot more insulin, this may not be an option for you. So there's been some hinting, um, a couple things that I've read that they said... Um, there may be a possibility that this is going to be able to use concentrated insulin in the future. So something like a Humalog U200, which is a very condensed version of Humalog. So essentially you get um, the same amount of insulin in half the volume. So maybe something like this could actually wind up holding 400 units if you used an insulin like the uh, U200. So that's a possibility for those of you who need more insulin. But as of this time, as of the event, what they stated was 200 units for this pump. Okay, moving on to the actual controller. So there's going to be no pump controller, like I stated before. There's no screen on it so the only way that you can make uh, your basal rate adjustments boluses i'll go over boluses in a minute so it's not 100 percent that only from the phone but the majority of things that you need to do for this pump is going to be solely from your smartphone now there's a lot of companies that are moving in this direction um, the omnipod 5 actually like i mentioned before in another video which i'll leave a link to um, is going to be controlled 100 percent from your smartphone and the T-Slim, the X2, they recently announced that they're going to allow mobile bolusing and things like that. So this is kind of the future. A lot of pumps are going to be moving in this direction. And there's going to be a time where everything that we do as diabetics is controlled from our smartphones, probably sometime within the next few years. So they're kind of moving in that direction. And that's the way most companies are. Um, as scary as it is to think about, you know, when I say that out loud, everything is done through your smartphone. That seems to be the future with a lot of these devices, with our CGMs and our pumps as well. So this device will be completely controlled from your smartphone. Now, as far as the charging, they didn't give specifics on how long you need to charge it for, how long a charge is going to hold. It is pretty small, so I don't think it would take that long. But what they did mention is that this is going to charge through wireless charging, through through inductive charging, the same way you can charge an iPhone, an Android, um, wireless, where you just put it on a little pad, which I, you can see here. Um, it's going to charge the same way. So you basically just put it on top. You don't have to plug anything in. And it's going to charge wirelessly, which is a nice little tech feature. Um, I'd like to see that there is a backup option in case you want to travel and you don't want to carry a big inductive charging mat to charge it. So I'd like to see that maybe there's like a USB-C or, or some other way that you can charge this. Um, but they didn't mention that. They just mentioned that it is going to have inductive charging. So definitely a cool thing moving along with the times. Um, that's how it's going to be charged as of what they've stated. Now, something I hinted at before, um, it does have a manual bolus button on it. So if we look at the side here, you can see that little silver button on the side there. Um, I believe that's going to be the bolus button. They didn't say specifically, but that's the only button type thing that I can see on there. So what they stated was if you are in a pinch, you don't have your phone, maybe your phone died um, and you need to give yourself insulin. Well, you can actually click this manual button that's going to be on the side. They didn't say how many times, you know, like if one click equals two units or one unit or anything about that. But they said there's a manual bolus button on it. So if you're in a situation where you don't have your phone or maybe you just don't want to take your phone out of your pocket and you just want to click a few times, um, you can do that. So it's really nice. 
And because of that, you actually have a pump that's completely independent of anything else. You don't need a screen, you don't need your phone. You can actually walk out the door and bring nothing with you because you can bolus from it. It's automatically gonna control your basal rate. It's actually an all-in-one system and you don't have to worry if something happened with your smartphone um, to be able to make boluses. So you have that option, which I feel like is a pretty nice thing. Definitely gives you peace of mind knowing that you have a backup way to give yourself a bolus. So onboard bolusing from the actual pump if need be. Okay, it is waterproof as I'm sure most of us assumed. I can't imagine that you'd have a pump like this that was not waterproof, um, but it is. It's an IPX8, which basically means it's waterproof against anything. You can take a shower with it, you can submerge in the water, you can go swimming in the ocean, whatever you wanna do, IPX8. Now, as far as the CGM it's gonna work with, as of now, they've only stated the Dexcom um, G6, and they also stated that once the G7 comes out, um, depending on the timeline for the, both the G7 and the Mobi, will be supported with that as well. It just has to go through FDA approval. Um, they didn't mention anything about the Freestyle. Not a lot of love for the Freestyle um, Libre version 3 because the Freestyle Libre 3 is going to be a fully continuous CGM. It's no longer going to require scanning. So I'm waiting to see if any of these companies are going to pick up the Freestyle Libre 3, but I haven't heard any word from anybody. Everybody's pretty much sticking with the Dexcom, including the Omnipod 5. At this point, I guess we'll see as it comes out and things may change. But as of the time of this recording, they've stated the Dexcom, both the G6 and the G7 as that comes out later on. As far as the automated insulin delivery system, this is going to be the same as its cousin, its older cousin, the um, X2. It's using the same algorithm, so no changes with that. If you've used the X2, you know how great the algorithm is already. It's going to be using the same system. So that's all going to be built into the Mobi, and it's a very good system. So they're just carrying along and moving that on with the Mobi. Now let's talk about the infusion sets, because this is what makes this um, version unique. So when this comes out, they're going to be releasing the smallest infusion set as of now for any pump. It's going to be four inches long. And what that's going to allow you to do is basically to apply the pump and have a very small catheter, a very small infusion set, and attach it to the local area. So they didn't say, or they didn't really show you any visuals of any of the ways you're going to attach it, but they did mention um, a sleeve, for instance. They did measure, mention a way to basically attach it to the body with like an adhesive right to the area. They also mentioned um, bell clips as well, which we can see in the picture here. They kind of has it belt like a belt clip onto the bathing suit so there's going to be different ways to attach it so you can use the four inch infusion set but they also said you can use any type of infusion set you want the ones that you use with the x2 the long ones if you wanted for instance if maybe you wanted to put it in your pocket or somewhere else you can use that infusion set but i think most people are going to be using the small infusion set because the idea with it is it's not to have this long basically cable around with you like some of the other pumps it's, it's to have it attached to the body and make it so you don't have to have that constantly in your pocket or getting caught on things. So that's kind of the beauty of the system, a very small pump that you can attach to the local area with a, a number of different options. Now, when they did the event, they kind of showed us a timeline. So I wanted to take a look at that timeline here and you can see um, they kind of have an idea of where each device is going to be coming out over time. So the Mobi is gonna come out first and then sometime in the near future, as you see a little bit further along in the timeline, they're indicating a tubeless Mobi that will be coming out sometime within the next few years. So the first version, like we went over the Mobi, will have that short tubing. But the second version, as we move along to the tubeless version, we're going to eliminate that tube altogether. And we can take a look at what that looks like here. So the idea is they're going to completely eliminate the infusion set, the tube component. And instead, what you're going to do, you're going to apply this disposable plastic pump mount in a cannula piece. And this would connect the reservoir of the Mobi pump. So you're going to use the same pump. And this is going to attach it, disposable piece that you would have, this little mount that it goes onto. The way that I like to think of this is the Dexcom with the sensor and the transmitter. You apply the sensor, which is what you change out every 10 days, but the transmitter is something that goes on top, essentially getting the readings from the sensor. And that's something that you don't change out, you know, but every few months. Um, in this case, you're not gonna have to change out the pump, I would assume, until the, the pump itself basically dies. Um, but the, the actual part you put underneath is what actually puts the catheter into the body, the cannula, and then on top of that, you're using the same Mobi pump, the same one we talked about before with the four inch um, pigtail. It's gonna be the same um, option, but now you're gonna have a different type of device that's going to attach directly to that disposal cartridge that you're putting onto the body. And then what they also stated is you can go back and forth. If you decide you wanted to start using um, the tubing again, you can. If you decided you wanted to go to the, um, the wireless version, the cordless version, you can. You can go back and forth to your liking. So you have that flexibility um, and you have that option if you wanted to, to kind of go back and forth to each type, each variety, depending on what your life uh, necessitates at that time. 
So those are the two big announcements from Tandem that'll be coming out in a timeline in the next you know few years or so. Now the Mobi, I expect, hopefully sometime this year, maybe early on next year. Now they stated at the conference, they basically said that they didn't have any news with the Mobi until the mobile bolusing feature came out on the Tandem because that essentially is what's required for the Mobi. Um, they said once that got FDA approved, they would talk a little bit more about the Mobi. Well, that got approved a few weeks ago. So now that we have that out, I'm hoping we'll hear some news about the Mobi, maybe some more information about a release date. As of now, they haven't said anything, but I'm hoping sometime within maybe the end of this year, maybe beginning of next year. Um, as far as the tubeless Mobi, that looks like it's going to be a little bit further down on the line. But all of the items that I showed you on that timeline, they said will be out in a five-year period. So essentially by 2027, all of these items going in order, as we see here, will be out within the next five years, the Mobi being first in line. So one thing that I didn't mention yet that I wanted to talk about that they did mention at the conference, they did mention a completely tubeless, wireless, tiny little pump patch, insulin patch. And we can see what that looks like here in this picture. So they briefly mentioned it. It's going to be extremely small. Um, and this is going to be a pump that hopefully sometime within the near future, they didn't give an exact date because I don't think they know yet themselves. It's something that they said they're experimenting with using concentrated insulins. Essentially, this will be the future of pumps. A little tiny thing that you put on the arm, barely know it's there, like probably a little bit bigger than maybe like a Dexcom or a Libre CGM. Um, and essentially, it's going to be your entire pump controlled from your phone. So this is the future of pumps. Nothing that they can say is coming out in the near future, but something that they're working on and gives us a little glimpse into what um, we'll be able to access with technology and diabetes at some point in uh, hopefully, you know, at some point in the future. So that is the Tandem Mobi, the Tandem Mobi wireless and uh, cordless version. Um, those are new exciting things. And the Mobi, like I said, is coming out hopefully sometime in the near future. Some of the other things will be a little bit further down the road. Thank you so much for watching the video. I truly do appreciate it. And if you like the video, please go ahead and give it a like. Thank you so much.